Today we're going to talk about order of operations. We're going to talk about the, the way we have to do things so we all get the same answer. And when I think of order of operations, we think of PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, add, subtract. P-E-M-D-A-S. And again, parentheses, I don't care what form of brackets, absolute values are a type of parentheses. We have exponents, 3 squared, 4 times 2 is the multiplication, 6 divided by 2. And again, fractions are division, divisions are fractions, addition and subtraction. And we have to have this because if I write 3 times 2 plus 4, we have to all do it the same way so we get 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. Because if we don't all do it the same way, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18. 18 and 10 are not the same. We have to have this. And again, this was decided long before any of us were born, even me. And we just do it in this order so we all get the same answers. I have a little memorization technique that I had when I was a student that I'll give to you. Again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She passed gas in class. And again, it is the order that we have to do on expressions. So if I do a couple of expressions here, an expression is simply a long statement that doesn't have an equal sign. This is an expression, and it can, since these are all numbers, it most likely can be completely simplified, as long as we don't divide by zero. Again, first thing is search for parentheses. There are none. Second thing, look for exponents. Didn't put A in there either. Third thing, search for multiplication. We do have that. So I have to write 3 plus, and what's equivalent to 2 times 6? 12. Everything else is going to stay the same. Now I search for division. I have that. So 3 plus 12 minus 8 divided by 2. Now I actually think of this as negative 8 divided by 2, which is still negative 4. And I typically think of this as all addition and use sign numbers. Now we can't, and we never, I never do subtraction. So I would have 3 plus 12 is 15. 15 plus negative 4 is 11. And again, 15 minus 4 is still 11 if you do subtraction. But again, as we move forward, it's always easier to add instead of subtract. On the next problem, first thing, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, search for parentheses. I have some right here. Now I go inside the parentheses and I look for more parentheses. There aren't any. Then I see that there is an exponent in a couple spots actually, but we'll get there first on the parentheses. And I'll do that here. 4 2 squared is 4, 2 times 2. And actually, at the same time over here, I can do exponents outside here. 3 times 3 is 9. So again, I'll write 2 plus 9 minus 6 divided by 4 minus 1 is 3. Now I'm going to do this division. 2 plus 9 plus negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. And this is where by making addition can help us because I can add order, any order. 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 1 is 4. So I look at this problem, I say 2 plus negative 2. Well, 2 plus negative 2 is 0. And I am left with the final answer of 9. I have one more example up here. And this time I don't have the little, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, but we're going to go through it. It's a longer problem. If you think you can do this, pause the video and try. I'm just going to work this through left to right, starting by doing the parentheses. Here in this absolute value, negative 6 minus 1, both to the left, so it's negative 7. In the parentheses, I have to do our, our operations first. I get 15 minus 3. Alright, now I'm going to go down. When we don't have a sign here, you know that this is going to be multiplied 2 times the absolute value of negative 7. 2 times the distance from, the, from negative 7 to the origin. I write parentheses for multiplication at this point. You could go times 7, but I'm going to do parentheses. That finishes that parentheses. 4 times 6. 15 minus 3 is 12. 
Again, I see this as multiplication, so I do multiplication next. I have multiplication here. Four, 24 divided by 12, do the division, I get 2. And again, I see this as four, 3 plus negative 14. 3 plus negative 14 is negative 11. Negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9. The biggest thing students do is they forget to search by parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. You tend to work left to right, so you have to slow down and look for each thing in order.